my career compass to becoming a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist is a doctor who diagnoses, prevents, studies, and treats mental disorders. This occupation requires a Bachelor of Science degree, graduation from a medical school, and specialty training, completion of the certifying examination of the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada, licensing from the province, and four to five years of specialty residency training. Becoming a psychiatrist may require skills such as communication, compassion, being detail-oriented, leadership skills, and lastly, problem-solving skills. I decided to look into psychiatry because of multiple reasons. One, science is one of my favorite subjects and psychology is something that really interests me. Some other benefits of being a psychiatrist are opening your own practice. It's especially common in the specialty, which can allow me to have a great work-life balance. It also allows me to help people. And lastly, I could earn a very high salary. To become a psychiatrist, there are certain short-term goals I can achieve, such as passing the necessary classes, graduating high school with at least a 3.8 GPA, gaining entrance to a university that has an adequate science program, and earning at least one scholarship. Some long-term goals include passing the medical college admission test, which is a standardized examination for prospective medical students, graduate medical school, complete a psychiatric residency, and complete any additional licensing requirement that may be required for the country or province. There are many schools that can lead me to this occupation, the top three schools for science in Canada being the University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, and McGill University. But before I can go to these schools, I have to take certain classes in high school. To study science at UBC, I have to take the following courses. In grade 11, I should take an English language arts 11, a language 11, chemistry 11, physics 11, pre-calculus 11, or foundations of mathematics 12. In grade 12, I have to take an English studies 12, pre-calculus 12 with a minimum of 67%, and either anatomy and physiology 12, chemistry 12, or physics 12. Next is tuition and other costs. According to the calculator offered by UBC for undergraduate students, I would pay around 20488 every year. This expense would be split into eight ways. Tuition costs, rent, food, health insurance, personal expenses, move-in costs, student fees, and books and supplies. The total multiplied by the length of the program, which is four years, will equal around $81,952. However, I will still have to study for another four years at medical school. At UBC, the yearly tuition will cost roughly $4,996, and if we add the other expenses listed before, it will equate to around $19,977. Multiply that by the length of the program, it will cost around $79,908. That makes up a total of $161,860. Fortunately, the salary can range from $177,000 to $374,000. Being a psychiatrist may not be appealing due to its many obstacles. Firstly, the educational process is extremely long and competitive. In fact, only 10-20% to of applicants actually make it into medical schools. Secondly, the educational process is extremely expensive. I can be up to $200,000 in debt when I'm around 26. Just like all physicians, psychiatrists often have to work irregular hours and overtime. Lastly, psychiatry is one of the lowest paying specialties among doctors. I do not mind an extensive educational process, overtime, or lower pay, but I can overcome the obstacle of an expensive educational process by applying for scholarships and being mindful about spending. There are many alternative careers that I would consider. The top four are anesthesiology, dermatology, family medicine, or surgery. These are all medical specialties, however, only the top three can allow me to open my own practice. I would also consider being a marine biologist or an environmental restoration science as it involves science. Finally, thanks for watching.